What's good, you guys? It is almost 1 p.m. Christian and I just have a bunch of errands to run today. Um, and this is just gonna be, I guess, our full, like, first full-length vlog in the new house, which I'm so excited about. I did put up an empty house tour a few days ago if you wanna check it out. I showed you our full entire new home, like, the layout, every room, kinda let you know how I'm gonna be decorating. Um, that was a big request from you guys was to show the whole like moving process and how I'm gonna decorate each room My new office Christian's room kind of like the whole vibe we're going for in the new house So I'll link that video below if you want to see the home before I moved all the furniture in and just kind of the layout of it I can 100% say it is at this point in my life my dream home for like what my current budget is and it's a one story um, and you guys there's so many little things in this home that reassure me so much that this home was meant for us. I believe a million percent that I manifested this home on top of obviously working hard, bettering my credit, saving money, all that stuff. I put uh, pictures of an exact home I wanted on my vision board last year with very, very specific details about the flooring and the granite and the kitchen. And this home has everything, every single thing checks off because I was very specific about what I wanted and I would not settle. The universe gave me the ex literally the exact home that I have been praying for. And we are just, I'm honestly, I'm just gonna get corny real quick for a quick hot second. Christian's like mom um, I am so incredibly grateful for this home and not just that but right now like this can make me cry I feel that I'm in such a good season of life and I'm stepping into like a whole new yeah season in my life like I'm so you guys know recently I let go of a very very toxic relationship that I was in for the past year which was super up and down and I am so ready to I'm so excited to have let all of that energy go so I'm able to welcome new friendships and new love into my life and only accept people into my life who are at a high vibration, who inspire me, who motivate me. And I am just so, so, so excited in the current moment, moving into the new house. I had like multiple times where I was just crying, feeling so thankful. And I'm so excited to just share these next upcoming videos with you guys and the current time that, what are you doing? Are you coming in the vlog? Guys, I just wanna say I love you. Oh, you love him? Say we love you guys. I love you guys. I forget what I was just in the middle of saying. Um, but I just wanted to thank you guys for all the love on my empty tour video and just seeing so many other incredible, mature, respectful, awesome women like in my comments be so genuinely excited for me so many of you were like girl i'm watching your video crying you and christian deserve this just to have that support from you guys i cannot put into words i truly feel i've said this a zillion times that i have a very engaged community and it's really tight-knit and i just i really think of you guys as family and because i've been able to grow my audience due to you is why i even got this home so i'm so thankful i appreciate you guys so much i hope you will subscribe and hit the notification bell here down below for my channel so all my new home videos with decorating and Christmas and everything you guys don't miss out on anything um, but yeah so today's just gonna be a vlog I just picked him up from school we're gonna head home now we're gonna kind of do this vlog in like reverse because I did record last night us putting up the Christmas tree and give you a little update on how I'm decorating the new house so we'll hop into that footage um, and then I made some tacos last night I'll show you guys what I'm eating and I don't know what the rest of the day will hold but this is kind of like a vlog miss situation I'm gonna upload as many vlogs as I can for December I can't upload every day just because I still edit my own videos um, and I I can't give Christian the proper attention that he deserves if I'm uploading and editing for like hours and hours a day. 
but I'll pump out as many vlogs as I can for December. It just might not be every day. So yeah, thank you guys so much for just being here. Let's get home. We gotta get Sadie. We're gonna take her on a quick walk and see what the rest of the day holds. All right, so we decided we're gonna put the tree in this corner. Oh, hi. Are you excited for the video? Hi, guys. <laughs> Cutie pie. So um, I ended up moving Sadie's crate over here, which she's not in much. I know you guys have seen her in it in a few videos. Like if I'm working or something and I have lights out and I don't want her to get hurt or something, or she's napping, she enjoys her crate. That's just like a fun place for her. Um, I put toys in there and I don't make it like, I never force her in there, but she likes to go in there. Hi, mama. Her little pink shirt is so cute because it's kind of getting kind of small on her. Oh, hi, my baby girl. And you're just getting so big. This video is just turning into all about you. <laughs> Silly. So anywho, I know I haven't showed you guys a lot of updates about the house because it's definitely taking me a while to unpack everything, move everything in. I want to take my time with the decor. So I might move that later. But anywho, for now, this is kind of just like our little entertainment section. So a lot of you asked about this um, dresser. Uh, like TV stand and actually it was a local lady who my mom knew and she refurbishes them So I believe this was like dark brown before and it was a totally different shape She actually went ahead and carved out like a bunch of cool designs um, Like on the sides and stuff. So it's very unique a lot of you wanted like a website link for it I'm really sorry. I don't have one. She just kind of like makes unique pieces. So I lucked out on that um, And then I set up some Christmas decor on here just silver white and gold super just basic, minimalistic, like normal Christmas stuff. I actually got these little guys from the dollar store. I think I'm gonna do like a DIY wreath video or a DIY like Christmas um, dollar store hacks and kind of like how you can make your decor set up like pretty cheap. So for the tree, we ended up getting a seven and a half foot tree from Big Lots. It was only like 60 bucks. We scored a really good deal. I think it's gonna fit perfectly in that corner. And then for everything that we're putting on the tree, again, we're just doing really basic. We're gonna do silver. So I ended up picking up this tree skirt from Target, which was like $50. I don't understand why these are so pricey. I think it's really pretty and it's gonna like turn out nice, but I was like, why are these so pricey? I feel like Target is upping their price on everything. Is that just me? And then I found this um, star for the top of the tree as well, just silver and white. This was 35 bucks. Christian. You're so silly, um, which I, again, I feel like is pricey, but I don't know, these, that was just the store. I ended up finding everything that matched and I think this is gonna look awesome. All right, I'm gonna crack open a beer because I have a feeling this is gonna take a while and I'm probably gonna get really frustrated, but it's okay, I got it. Hi guys, we're decorating the tree right now and make sure you get a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. All right, let's pop open the box, let's do it. about to run out and do some errands. I just like threw up my hair today. This is giving me like Ariana vibes. So a lot of you always tell me in the videos you wanna see more outfit and makeup deets. So let me give you a little outfit of the day today. Um, this is just a camo tank top from Target. And then this jacket I got from Marshalls. I believe it's Steve Madden. I showed you guys this in my Colorado vlog. Um, I don't really have anything crazy on my ears today, just Forever 21 necklaces. But I really do like these jeans angle this down these are from American Eagle I can put the style name down below I'll try to do better at like linking my outfits and stuff um, they're super cute because they just have a ton of rips um, and they go pretty far down they're like a skinny pant they don't do much for your butt though they kind of like make your butt flat but they have the cute like American Eagle design and then I just got new shoes right before I moved I picked up a new pair of vans because my other ones were literally gross so I'm just always down for like that fresh feel of a new a new fit you know when you pop on the shoes for the first time you just you just feeling good Hi guys, we're fun to just shopping <laughs> look how handsome you look with your hair gelled over so we're gonna go to a few different stores but we're first starting off at Ashley just to see what they have because I put my bed in the guest room so we're gonna go ahead and look for a new bed for my room immediately when we walked in we saw this gray tufted one which you guys know is my vibe but I have one pretty much just like this in the guest room so I don't know if I want it to be super similar let's see what else they have we also do need to find a couch, like a huge L-shaped couch, because my new living room is humongous and my old couch just doesn't fit. Kind of loving this. 
The gray isn't as dark as I wanted. It looks super comfy and I definitely want something with a panel on the back and on the front just for like extra design. Um, but it's a little bit light. I think I might want to get like a darker gray just so Christian and Sadie don't get it dirty. Oh my god, it's in. Ooh, yeah. <sighs> All right, bye. Taking a nap. Bye. Okay, so we didn't find anything at Ashley Furniture that we liked, so we just came to Home Goods real quick checking out their Christmas section. I really wanted to get this for the front door because it's super sturdy and like really heavy, but it's chipped on the other side on the back. There's like a whole leaf area that's like all chipped off. Um, but maybe, I don't know, I might see if they can just give me a discount and grab that. But I did end up finding this. My theme is gonna just be like silver and white in the kitchen for Christmas, so I found this for like 20 bucks. And then I also found three different size candle holders, just with like white plain candles. They have some like really cute wreaths and stuff, but I think I can definitely DIY these for cheaper because this is like 70 bucks, which is insane to me. And we already have our Christmas tree, so I don't need one of those. I just wanted to come and see what they have. I think I'm gonna do a DIY video for you guys on a wreath that's, I, I can make it for like 12 bucks and I'm gonna do like the white and silver theme because I think that's so pretty. But as usual, they just have so much Christmas stuff and I just want everything. Oh, that's a really cute idea, the buckets with like the greenery in there. I'm actually here to look for dining room chairs because my other ones, I actually gave them to my mover who moved me yesterday. Oh, this is cute. Um, his wife and him, they need stuff for their kitchen um, and they're super sweet. I think they're like on a budget. He, I was gonna throw them away or donate them and he was like, no, we'll take them. So I'm looking for four dining room chairs that match. This is also super cute. It's the same tree I showed before, but smaller for like the kitchen. I love this. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some plant-based tacos. I got these Beyond Meat patties. As you guys know, I love these. I'm gonna cook these and then just chop them up really small. And I ended up just grabbing these Mission Organic tortillas. We're gonna put some shredded cheese on there. I have some um, sour cream and also some black beans in the pantry. I also got these little tortilla bowls, which look super cute. I could use, I guess I could use either or, but I just thought these were cute. And then I got some Brussels sprouts on the side, which I'm just gonna do with balsamic. So I'm just gonna whip that up. So I completely forgot guacamole and sour cream, but these are the finished products, plant-based tacos. We got some Brussels on the side, and everyone knows that you just can't have tacos without beer. So, cheers. All right, so a lot of you keep asking about my new office slash filming room. I have two different options we can do. So I have this room, which is just one of the rooms in the house, which I just kind of had the movers put all of my vanity and like all of my stuff. Let me try to, God, this lighting, let me, Maybe if I shut these, better. Um, so I want you guys' advice on what should I do for decor here. Let me turn on these lights. Um, so we have this room, which is kind of in the corner of the house. Obviously the light shines in this way, so I'd have to put my desk right here. Um, for you know for the light to shine in the right way, so I could film for you guys. I do still have this Alex. Um, uh, desk right here along with the Linman top, which is this it's white on the other side I have all of my lighting and everything I got the impressions vanity But that's kind of what every youtuber has for their background I feel like I want to do something different and like unique So obviously I'm gonna keep these because I store my makeup in there I'm not gonna like get rid of them or anything, but I might not use them for my background So I wanted to get your guys's advice on what you want 
Um, I'm gonna set this up in some type of way. This is for sure gonna be the beauty room, but my actual office, I might put like in the front and put Christian's playroom closer to his room. Um, but I have a ton of like artwork and stuff that I could put up. What do you guys wanna see in the background? Do you wanna see like, I went ahead and went to Joann's and bought all this fabric for like really nice backdrops. Um, I have like a bunch of curtains, or do you guys want more of like photos and like, uh, like really nice artwork like what what do you like to look at because I actually also have out here um, a bunch of artwork for That we moved over here into the new house. I haven't found a place for it yet I have like some really nice pieces like this This one is actually super nice and unique me and my mom or my mom and I actually found that at um, a pier one that was like in Arizona or so it was like Super unique, like no other store had it. I also have these like little basic like Chanel paintings and stuff. And then I have these, which I feel like are super pretty, like two different like teal pieces. Um, so do you guys want more of like artwork vibes or do you wanna see my makeup in the back? Let me know in the comments because I want the videos obviously to be like visually pleasing for you guys. So it's actually almost 6 p.m. now. I'm about to finish recording a podcast. Definitely check the description box of this video. I will link my podcast on iTunes. It's called The Boss Babe Academy. We recently just launched. Would love to have you guys tune in. We're talking about all things law of attraction, relationships, business, single mom life, mental illness, everything. I'd love to have you over there. Um, there's actually a new podcast episode that goes up tonight as you guys are watching this video. So if you need something to listen to on your drive or on your walk or your hike or whatever, I would love if you would tune in. Uh, be sure you're subscribed here to my channel because tomorrow I'm actually getting my hair done. I'm getting permanent hand-sewn NBR extensions installed and they did agree to let me film at the salon. So I'm so excited to show you guys my hair transformation. Um, my hair is actually pretty healthy right now. Um, I've been using Monet products for the past seven months, I believe, and I love them. My hair has definitely gotten thicker, um, but I have a lot of grays, as you guys know. That's That has nothing to do with like the quality of my hair. My hair just gets gray. It's just how it is. Ever since I had Christian, that's kind of how the hormones of being a mom have just affected my body. So we're going to get my hair dyed tomorrow, and then we're going to get the extensions put in. Um, if you guys want a video on like hair care or me to incorporate that into a vlog, I can talk about it. I've been kind of hesitant to talk about the Monet products just because a lot of other people that I've seen it always seems like an ad for the products or you're like pushing people to use them and I already have like my few sponsors that I work with on YouTube like first forum and stuff obviously I only talk about something if I believe in it but I'm coming up on my seventh month I believe with Monet the IRT serum it's just incredible. It makes your hair really grow. There's like incredible before and after pictures of men who are like bald and then like all their hair grows back. It's crazy. My brother uses the hair gel for men um, and then also the shampoo. I use the shampoo and conditioner and the blowout cream and that's, I'm gonna keep using Monet even with my uh, permanent extensions that I'm getting tomorrow just because it's the highest quality hair care line I've ever used. It makes my hair feel amazing and the NBR extensions are real human hair so I can continue to use those same products on it. Um, so if you guys have hair that's like thinning or it won't grow or you just want it to be thicker, you need a blowout cream, anything, you can always email me or DM me. I truly do like highly recommend Monet and I'll be happy to let you know like which specific products I use because they have a whole range of stuff um, and they have certain products for if your hair is like curly or thick or straight and fine, you need to choose the right product line for your hair type. Um, so I'm happy to help you guys. If you have any questions, I never wanted to like force it on anyone, but now that it's been so many months and I know I love it, I'm just like excited about it. So I want to share it with you guys. So you can get awesome results as well. Um, so yeah, I got to go finish this podcast. I love you. Subscribe to the channel and then my new hair vlog will be up tomorrow. I love you guys.